Hello everybody, it's Dutch 24 here and uh, welcome to my video. This video I should be showing you uh, the, um, the Chapmay uh, Jeep. This figure here and uh, it's at least one of its um, figures it, um, it was issued with. We'll uh, start with the figure. I say it's made by uh, Chapmay. This chap I believe is called uh, Lieutenant Hornet. There's a uh, well, a nice figure. It's a definite um, step up from the, from the um, earlier sculpts from Chap Main, and uh, it's uh, very well articulated as such. So his, his, uh, his legs can now bend, knees like that. Um, his arms, his arms have got an um, elbow joint as well. So he can bend his arms, and also his wrist can actually turn. Uh, 360 degrees and his head turns from uh, left to right and uh, that, that's it that's it so it's an, it's an improvement as some of the earlier sculpts it's uh, quite a nice quite a nice level of detail the really sad thing is um, I'm pretty sure he came with this um, this rifle which is a uh, the um, British Army SA-80 that's the, um, the early version, the, the A1 version. As you can see, it's it's quite a big sort of gun, and he's a bit sort of. You can't bend his arm into across the body because of the, the size of the, of, of the actual weapon. And I'm pretty sure he came with that rifle. We we may have come up with um, a very similar rifle like, like this one here. Um, in either case. It's just a bit too big for the figure, which is a shame, but still a nice level of detail. And of course, he's got um, he's got two screws in the back. If you want to take them apart and customise them, you, you can. There's a um, he can't quite kneel down, but it's, it's not far off it. Now the actual Jeep itself, I'm not too sure. Whether it's, this is um, um, a Willys Jeep from um, um, Second World War Vintage, or it might be um, based on a, on, on a Mutt, an American Jeep, um, which was used in the sort of late 60s and the 1970s sort of era. Um, must be into the 80s as well. I, I'm guessing it's more of a Mutt because it's, it's quite a low sort of body. But, um, four wheels, which are there's no central axle for them, so they all turn in independently as such. Got nice chunky sort of wheels there. Um, obviously, the, the whole body is plastic. Um, this frame at the top um, clips on. And it's uh, it's it's not it's not fixed in place, so it's possible to slide up and down. And indeed. To pull out of the, uh, the little slots, there's, there's four fixing points. One, two, uh, no, sorry, six. Sorry. Six uh, fixing points. Let me show on that side. Two at the back and one at the front. And uh, the air wheel has also got a little, little pop of thing so that I can, I can pop out. It's got a rather nice um, heavy weapon at the top here, which I believe is um, could be a 40mm grenade launcher, as well as. This uh, drum fed um, machine gun here, which looks quite similar to um, an old Lewis um, machine gun from, from the British Armed Forces of the, of the First and indeed the, the, the Second World War. Um, got some nice sculptings on, on, the, um, on the side of the Jeep. I think it's a, sort of a stretcher, a nice tarpaulin in there. He's in quite got little um, bullet holes. Uh, there's an axe um, on the bonnet there. This this, this is also um, looks like it's detachable. I'm not too sure you take that one off. Um, but on the round bar there, you've got um, a shovel. Um, is it a wire or, or towing cable? I'm not too sure. Uh, another, another piece of um, tarpaulin in there. Searchlights, spotlights, white. Quite cool. 
So nice, nice little um, level of detail, some damage there. It's also got a big like, towing bar pin hook thing there. But it's, um, it didn't actually come with anything, um, no, no trailer, but it's uh, on the inside of the vehicle. It's got some uh, nice details there. That's supposed to be some sort of um, communication equipment, perhaps. There's a stowage locker. And you've got a little wheel, which you know, it, it will turn. Then up, sorted. Um, that's 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 basically that. Right, try and put chappy in. You see, he doesn't come anywhere near the um, the wheel. But he did look quite cool there. And so I've got two of these. You could have a have a chap at the back there. You could almost hold on to that, almost. But you say his arms are so are so wide. You can't quite hold on to it. You can grip it thanks to his, uh, his fully articulated wrists. He's quite a broad shoulder sort of chap. You can't bend the arms in, so he's not going to be able to hang on. But he's got hold of the, of the weapon, so he should be right because of a bump. Um, there we are. So they, they do look rather nice when set up in the actual vehicle itself. Even though he's not he's not gripping the steering wheel because he, he physically can't do it because his arms won't bend in. It's a bit of a shame. But so he's going to put this put his wipe in there. Probably got the space another chap at the back there. There we go. That's obviously uh the, Chap mate, figures, and uh, I mean, it'd be even worse, I think, for the older, less sculpted figures, the less articulated. A bit limited, isn't it? Which is a shame. Let's see how he does, let's see how this vehicle does for Lanard. Bit more uh, articulation, particularly 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 because they're um this is a pivot on the elbow and at the point there and turn the arms in. Now Chappie can actually physically you know, to get hold of the, um, the steering wheel. And it's, uh, it's quite cool. I know he's sitting quite a bit further forwards, but this is holding the wheel. So um, I'm sure you agree that this um, this vehicle can be well um, reused. It's well suited for um, the Lanard um, figures as well. The um, 3.75 um, inch scale. And then we'll let's see what he does with the old uh, Palatoy um, Action Force figures. I mean, their arms are a bit thinner. Since they've got the, um, the articulation of the early Star Wars figures, you're not going to quite touch the steering wheel. But it just, it just looks quite a home in that figure, doesn't it? More so than the um, Chuck Mabel, I think. And then we'll just try it with, a, uh, with an O ring 
GI Joe figure, the original um, original Croc Master, as I just volunteered today. Of course, he should be able to. A bit worried about the, the old thumbs cracking. The problem with the, the top of plastic, but. He will. He should. We well, almost does. He sits in there quite nicely, but he's not quite near enough to the wheel, so you put the arm up a bit. Very nearly. Very nearly. That's, that's alright, I think. That's alright. I'm quite happy with that. So it's um. So this this vehicle is, is quite adaptable for other ranges. Um, I, I forgot to mention at the start, um, the this Jeep came with two figures, um, obviously there's an Hornet, but also um, a single piece um, plastic guy who was actually um, in green and he was actually um, holding and trying to fire one of these type of weapons. Not much use that really because say, it's just a single piece. You can't do anything to that. So uh, ignore him. I say he is quite a nice figure. So rather versatile looking Jeep. Which obviously which obviously it's also going to um, lend itself quite well to, to customizations and um, converting it so you, you want to repaint it in the colours of uh, Z Force. The, um, the plastic seems quite sort of um, quite easy to, to sort of sand down, or you paint it because of Cobra or um, Dreadnought or whatever, then um, it's, it should lend itself quite nicely to that. There's also plenty of space, you know, bars and holes and mesh, all kinds of bits, of, um, so you can put um, extra kit bags. Lots of uh, lots of space for that, that sort of thing. Quite customizable, I think. Um, I've not been able to find out online how much this cost originally. I paid one pound for that uh, vehicle um, in a flea market. I do see a few of these around from time to time. Um, but I've had uh, different flea markets and car boot sales and uh, whatever, and they, they tend to be um, tend to be missing all of the. Um, all, all the top area, the the, the, um, the removable roof part. I, um, I imagine that um, these vehicles are a lot more common and uh, not, um, cheaper to buy in, in the shop, both for the parents and indeed uh, you know, the little kids saving up their, their pocket money. And um, so I, um, there's no doubt more, more of these in the world than there are those big tanks. So um, they should be quite easy to get hold of. And of course, if, if you're spray painting it or converting it, it goes wrong. I like to think that there, there's a reasonably plentiful supply of such vehicles um, in case you make a mistake and it needs to pick another one up. Well, that seems the uh, logical um, end of my video. So, I, um, thank you very much for watching it, and I hope uh, you enjoyed it. I hope to do some more um, videos on the other G.I. Joe and uh, Action Force. Lanard and Chuck May vehicles I've got my collection and uh, I'll do those in the forms of time and until then until next time take care